OSG, I wish you were here to approve, honey. But you're at a, a weekend getaway with some gals right now. Why am I showing you my breakfast? Well, I pretty much show you guys everything in my life, but today's video, I'm gonna let you in on a, uh, some information that's pretty exciting, something I'm really excited about, another journey. Man, I'm just uh, I'm excited about it. Uh, it's gonna be a big challenge. It's gonna involve being pretty healthy. But welcome back to the channel, everybody. Welcome to the vlog. I'm gonna eat this breakfast and then we'll get into the info. There's a storm a coming. This is a perfect metaphor for what is uh, going on. So let me tell you the story. It was about a year ago, one of my buddies called me and he said, hey, would you be interested in going on a, a hunt and fishing trip in New Zealand? Yes, I would be very interested in doing that. And we started planning, getting ready to go, and then life happened you know both of us had things come up we weren't able to go do this trip and it was sad because my friend knew someone over there that would take us out hunting for basically nothing it would literally just cost us a plane ticket and you know some gear and things like that but he calls me again he's like hey man that trip's up for grabs again i got baby at home and he has twins so it would be a really big deal for us dads to go over there because it takes a long time to get over there. It takes a long time to hunt. I'll get into all that later. Both of our wives approved. And it is happening, y'all. We are going to New Zealand. I knew it was a yes thing to say. Like, yes, that's one of the most beautiful places to go. Amazing, but I did not do my full research on hunting in New Zealand at high altitudes. So what we are preparing to do is probably go on the most physically demanding thing that I've ever done in the outdoors. Uh, most definitely going to be the most physically demanding and then mentally challenging as well. And as a guy that's grown up in Texas and all around the South, I just have been sitting in trees hunting furry animals uh, my whole life. I've never done any out west hunting, western style, high altitude, hiking, backpack, any of that. And I'm going to be dunked in full force in some crazy climates to go after some tar and chamois and some other animals that live up there in the nosebleeds. I'm gonna be taking you guys along for uh, the adventure of preparing for something like this and what it takes because if you're like me and you've never done anything like this, I think you'll find it really interesting. And as you know guys, I still have Willis growing in my brain and I want to do everything I can to reduce that growth so I can conquer him for good. And this is giving me an excuse to do that. So as the thunder claps, let's prepare our minds, bodies, and souls. Thank you guys for being here. Thank you for your support. I love you. Just had ourselves a good little workout, guys. Um, I've been, I've constantly ran and uh, done basically body weight style workouts for the last year and a half or so but it has been a long time basically since um, my battle with Willis that I really worked out with weights because then I wanted to put on more weight you know my, I think my goal was to put on 10 or 15 pounds and you know the best way to put on weight do heavy weight low rep exercises and that's something that I haven't done I've just done things to keep my cardio in shape you know things to just to keep my heart healthy I'll have more of it on the Lake Life family channel for more of like the routine and things like that if you haven't subscribed to the channel link is down below just kind of wanted to break you guys into the fact that I am working towards something right now um, focused and this is a, in the back of my mind getting back to the workouts feel good y'all feel good but I'm I am sore I'm gonna be sore the next few days it's a good feeling though gonna eat some deer burger tonight Ooh, yeah. when I was a bachelor I had tons of deer meat one of my main forages was uh, deer meat particularly burger like burger patties and then frozen spinach it's a great diet so I'm gonna be eating a lot of that get some good nutrients and I brought back some more meat we got uh, 
we got our deer deer sticks for the boat summer sausage that's kind of an indulgence there and we got more wild game over here y'all a couple of crappies and then catfish so i'm gonna keep that up wild game for wild gains you know what i'm saying learn that from my boy outlaw he's up there eating all that wild stuff i really would like to get an elk later this year too even if it's a, a cow elk i just want to go capture the meats that's later in the season right now i have got the fishing bug really bad and i just heard the fedex guy come by and i'm pretty sure he brought by something very relevant to this conversation today and yes this is this is what's happening to you i've been waiting on this sucker to come in for all y'all that are unfamiliar with mountain hunting like me it is a drastically different uh, kind of hunting, backpack hunting, up in high altitudes than your traditional sitting in the stand for the deer, which I love very much. I always will. I love hunting whitetails. But uh, I found out very quickly from my buddy JT that I did not have jack squat in terms of good equipment for, uh, for mountain hunting. I, I, he sent me a list and my jaw about dropped from all the things that I actually need, started doing research on companies, and then uh, I remember Rob getting some, some Kuyu gear and uh, he really loved it. I got to look at the stuff, looks really good. I don't know if this is all of it. I will be doing a, a, a total unboxing for all the gear and then how I'm gonna pack it as, as, as this goes along. My huge challenge, well number one, is gonna be getting physically ready. Uh, number two, learning how to pack the gear. Number three, learning how to pack camera gear to, with all that to film everything because I'm not just hunting I'm documenting and I want to do the best job I can uh, adding new equipment to the arsenal but trying to stay as light as possible it's a, it's a big challenge I want this to be some of the best footage that I'm I'm gonna get kind of like the Amazon series because it's a once a lifetime trip and it's beautiful so anyway I'm gonna open this up real quick just kind of see what's in here Light. Oh my gosh. Oh my God. Look at all of this. This is all the stuff I've needed for, for mountain hunting. Even oh, down to underwear, socks. Oh man, the packs here. Holy cow, everything. Oh yeah, we're gonna be doing a pack workout this afternoon, guys. What perfect timing. I didn't even know this was gonna come in. I bet you can't even see me right now. I'm so camoed up. Ninja. I've never had stuff like this before. It's so awesome. It fits so good. Like it's the thing with mountain hunting, it's gotta be light, gotta be comfortable. You're on your feet a lot, you're hiking a ton, and you gotta carry that weight. So everything is just super light and to be packed up. So I decided to get the gear about a month early, get it in, try it on, make sure everything fits, make sure I'm comfortable with it, uh, learn the weight so I can learn how to pack everything with the clothes and with the other gear that I'm gonna have to put in there with it. I just threw on some of these, these pants. These, these are like, like a hiking, hunt, scouting style pant. I think I'm gonna uh, throw some boots on, throw my boots on that I'm gonna be using because I still need to break in those. Throw a bunch of gear in the pack and then go on a little hike in the woods. It's still a little rainy, you know, all the colors are gonna be popping in the forest. You know, already did a workout. Let's get, a, let's get a couple more miles in on the hike. Break the boots in, break some of this gear in, get a little extra exercise, then have some deer meat for dinner. Woo! Getting a second workout in for today, going on a, uh, on a hike. Probably gonna do about three or four miles with this kind of weight, which I am not used to. I rigged this pack out with pretty much all the stuff that came out of that box and some extras, including stuff like a tripod over here. I've got one of my other camera bodies with 200 millimeter lens, which is probably the heaviest thing that I'm gonna take, but I'm gonna need that if I'm going to, um, to film these goats and different animals that are gonna be probably really far away uh, to begin with. Batteries, uh, extra gear. I'm gonna say that this pack right now is probably around 40 something pounds. I think it'll probably be around 55 or 60. 
when uh, we first start and I've got full load of food and all that kind of stuff in there. What's nice is I can fit this camera right here on the very top of the pack. And then I've got extra room to put other stuff, other, other camera gear. So uh, I, got, I got a Garmin inReach that I carry with me on crazy trips like this one. And I actually just turned it on. I'm gonna see how far I'm gonna track. And we're testing out the new boots, which I actually think it's good that it's wet. It just rained and I can get a little, uh, get a little extra break in with the leather on these, but they already feel really good. These are Danner uh, powder horns, I believe. I have a set of prong horns that I really like. And so I decided to get these because they're not insulated because we're going to be moving so much. And this honestly is probably how New Zealand is going to look when we first start out. Later, as we go up, it's going to be nothing but rocks and snow. <sighs> I got to see how much the weight's going to be. That's what all this testing is about. But I do know one thing. I feel pretty darn confident we're going to see a snake of some sort on this trek. Little bit of a crick. No worries. Waterproofness. Ooh, hog track right there. The weight is uh, definitely being felt, y'all. I definitely need to be doing this a few times a week when I have a moment. I don't have much time, but I need to be doing this because it just really is exerting. Wow, I don't know which way to go here. Up or down? Let's go up because we're trying to get stronger. Look how pretty this is, y'all. There you can see where some hogs have come through. Been rooting around in here, right along the trail. Oh, there goes whitetail. There goes a whitetail right there. That was a perfect example of why I wanted to carry this big lens and have it at the ready in the pack so I can break it out and I can film for when things like that happen. Of course, we're not going to be talking, vlogging when animals are running around, uh, but this is that's a good example of why I want to rig this pack out to where I can access that quickly. And it's really nice having that uh, whole nother body on that lens and this one has a stabilizer in it so I can literally go handheld and the image looks great without having to put it on a tripod even zoomed all the way in so it's a little extra weight but I might bring both bodies just giving that example right there and what I'm trying to accomplish on this hunt I've even got an extender that's gonna go on this to amplify the uh, the zoom on it so whew, I'm really glad that happened y'all that was cool so Whitetail walking around the middle of the day, can't beat it. Nature, baby. Good boot test right here. Oh, yeah. <sighs> little stop by the creek. We're 1.35 miles in. So I'm going to keep going a little further and then I'm going to have to turn around. This thing is windy, zigzaggy, and I have been lost out here before. I'm just not used to this. This is good. I definitely needed to do this. There's no question. Oh, this last part is all uphill. I just looked at my my GPS and it said two miles. I guess I was closer to the trailhead than I thought when I stopped. Not even close to what I need to be doing. And I'm exhausted. So I'm doing this, y'all. This is not easy. I'll tell you what though. Wool, merino wool, something I've I've hunted in for a while. I really like it. This uh, this Kuyu merino wool is, is really good, super light, and it actually wicks the uh, the sweat off you, which is really really important. It's all about controlling your body temperature, homeostasis, and you don't want to be a sweaty mess at night when it gets cold. Without that pack, I feel like I can jump about 10 feet high right now. Pretty happy with the feet as well. The boots held up good, and I got a good break in in them. They actually did not hurt my feet at all. They appear to be waterproof 100%, and 
and I'm gonna stick these on my boot dryer. If you don't have yourself a boot dryer, I would suggest getting one. If you do any kind of stuff in the outdoors, that is your friend right there. Tennis shoes all the way up to big boots. You know, I use it all the time. I have something on it every day from my muck boots to any kind of boots. There's nothing worse than a wet boot. Hopefully I never have to encounter that while I'm up in New Zealand or down under, down under in New Zealand where the Kiwis are. Well, we started our day at the skillet and we're going to end it at the skillet, y'all. Mmm. This is one of my favorite meals. Deer patties, deer hamburger patties, a little bit of spice with some vegetables. It's just a good, healthy meal. Voila. A little bit of hot sauce, a little bit of ketchup, taters, onions, and a couple of homegrown deer patties. So easy to cook, too. Keep yourself some frozen veggies or just some fresh vegetables around the house. Break out some deer patties. Man, it's good. Y'all, I love the outdoors. I love what it provides. I love being a part of it. I love capturing it. I love the attempt to try to get the great moments on camera and bring them to you. It's one of my favorite things to do. I'm super passionate about it, and that's why I want to do a great, great job on this New Zealand trip. So I am going to enjoy this delicious meal before it gets cold, y'all. But thank you for coming along with me today. Wish me luck in my training uh, to go on a mountain hunt for the first time ever. Hit the like button for new adventures. Subscribe right here to the channel so you don't miss a single video. And if you guys wanna leave a comment on what you think about mountain hunting or this whole adventure I'm gonna go on, leave it down below. I love you guys and I'll see you on the next one.